Hey, what is going on, guys? It's your boy here again, Dean, with Burn One. This time with a huge ensemble of people who may or may not be commentating. I'm not actually entirely sure how many people are going to be actually commenting on this cast, but we have Prusha. Hello. Fresh Cabbage. Hello. A new face, but a former Tomodachi. <laughs> We have Kit. A former? <laughs> you know, like he died or something. Very yeah. <laughs> <laughs> handsome. Right, we yeah, have, uh, we have Kit. Tomodachi. Hello. And we have a Sam. Well, you know, hey. I, I'm going to say Fresh Cabbage, a.k.a. Hanson, was a, uh, you know, former teammate in the Weishwart sphere and uh, I guess he plays you know he plays some Shadowverse too so we're yeah. looking uh, we're looking to see some insight from a whole bunch of different people and what a set do we have we have the rune cards the strongest cards in Uma once again big shout out to the Shadowverse Evolved Discord for providing us with this translation sheet so we get to read all the cards a little early uh, the goats. yeah with that in mind who wants to start I can start. We got two mana, two, two, Agnes, uh, Agnes Tachyon. Uh, evolve for one, and we'll read the evolve in a second. Uh, feed for one, because every follower has feed. Uh, whenever you play a spell, choose an enemy follower. It gets minus one, minus one. And that's not limited per turn. That's just whenever you play a spell. And then the evolve version, uh, it becomes a three, three. And then you choose a spell in your graveyard. You can add it to your hand. And then it has the same effect when you play a spell. Give an enemy follower minus one, minus one. And then here's the Evolve. Strong card. Yeah, it's a really good card. Yeah, this is definitely a big boon to Rune because it gives it not only in the Uma deck, but also in the RuneCraft deck. We did not have Spell Recursion outside of Merlin, but once again, Merlin is a little limited. I think everyone knows that. It can only cast three cost or lower cards. Uh, but this gives you the way to like cycle maybe like a higher cost spell that you've used throughout the game. Maybe like your one ofs, like alchemical lore or golem protection. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. You could pick up a D shift. You could like you know D shift. Boom, have the Agnes down. Pick up the D shift again. Play it again. Don't <laughs> don't need to play multiples. And it's your key anti aggro tool early game. Yeah, and then yeah, once again the uh, the minus one minus one is huge. Just put this thing down, have some mana floating, and then everything gets an additional one damage. Angelic Snipe now trades for three instead of two, pretty big. Yeah, unless or you get spread it around. Yeah, so um, really anything else to say about this one other than the fact it is a staple, absolute banger, right? Yeah, it's yeah. a staple not only in Rune, but also in Uma, of course. But I think in Rune, you know, you touched on a little bit, like, being able to, you know, obviously, you know, if you play D-Shift, then you can get it back. But also just the ability to not have to um, hold on to your one of so much. Like, hey, if, if I need to ditch, you know, with Penguin, my D-Shift, it's fine because I have Agnes and I can get it back later on, you know. And also Rune, of course, has so much uh, Evo slot open that you, that it, pretty much any time you see this card, it's going to fall, you know. Yeah, this is a card you definitely want to um, hang on to as well. If you want to play all the way up to like BP05, I believe it's still saw a play. Definitely yeah. a super solid card. Yep. Well, oh. uh, we're not going to do ratings on the screen this time, by the way, guys. It's There's too many people in the it's cast. It's an S++++. Plus, 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 yeah, plus, this plus, is S+. Plus. Plus. You're going to be... You need three of this card. There's no. There's no doubt. And yeah. you know what other card we need three of? And that's the Daiwa Scarlet. Uh, this Hell card yeah. is a... Oh, do you want to read this one? This is like your girl, right? Or something? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Let's do it. Daiwa Scarlet. Four mana for a 3-3. Three, three. She's part of the um, package that I guess we must known for. Um, so, yeah, as all Uma cards, you can begins racing. But the real meat of the, um, I guess... <laughs> card here is that as long as she's on the field when you play an uma spell for the first time you can reduce the ca um, cost damn it dean um you can reduce the cost of the spell by one and if you play a third spell this um turn then you can actually give another uma follower plus herself storm which um yeah pretty rare but yeah it can come up you can play towards that um, and also importantly on fanfare, you can search your deck for a Uma spell and add it to hand. So it's a plus one, very selective um, toolbox card, and also combos with the next card in the list, which um, 
when you play a spell once per turn, you can buff all your Uma followers plus one plus one. And um, I guess the main thing here is that the spell reduction is actually active at all times. So the first spell you play on your opponent's turn, um, if it's a Uma spell, obviously, you can also reduce the cost of that by one as well. So it's um, if you have like if you hold up like any amount of mana, you can respond to things um, very cheaply. Amazing tech, um, amazing card three of. I think it goes in like every list. I'm not sure um, for Rune how many you play. Probably four. I mean three. Um, I think there was there was a couple lists that were playing like Uma, like in the GP um, or, or sorry the Japan Championships. Like I yeah. know there was one list that was like uh, Uma but Rune, where they were playing the same combo, like pieces <laughs> yeah. of Daiwan Vodka, but in Rune because you had to play two decks. Yeah, uh, exactly. But other than that, I don't think it, it, it sees much because it is just, you know, kind of um, trait related Merlin. Uh, so. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, extremely strong in the Uma deck. I mean, even yeah. in pure rune, right? This is still a good card. Being able to search yeah. any spell, the Uma spells are Uma good. Spells, yeah. Are you sure you yeah. can't just play this in like rune? Like, Well, you only would get uh, Helios and the Witch one, right? What other spells are you playing in rune? Whatever Uma spells are you playing in rune? True. Yeah, there's the burn four, um, the hard removal one. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, there's a couple. I mean, there's a couple spells, right? And like you could just kind are of there? splash them. I must be, I must be It doesn't. It doesn't sound that bad. I mean, you're not. You're never gonna get the storm, but just being able to like hold up like a uh, a thing that's kind of terrible about Merlin is the way that she curves into the turn, and then like you're. You're like the removal deck, right? Like, you're trying to play, like, a removal strategy, but when you play Merlin, you usually tap out? But there's only yeah. two Uma spells in, in, in existence. Oh, two rune Uma spells. Well, you there. could also play the neutral ones, right? I don't know what the neutral ones are, but, like, we can there's definitely only, go to it's that. There's only... Oh, they're uh, really bad. There's, like, yeah, you can play Assemblage. That'd be sick. Assemblage and uh, the, the, the Nurse one, which is, like, if you want to, you know, roll some yeah, dice. Yeah. Those are the only four ones that's it's going to be getting in rune i mean of course like getting helios or getting the witch one is pretty good but i don't know if you'd like yeah i don't know yeah but it's a good card yeah. it's, it's a good card. yeah the fact that you can pull a two mana burn four that actually only costs one mana with daiwa and field is pretty good i guess um as is the one mana burn two or three if you have a racing on field <laughs> so i mean yeah it's like i'd say an anti-aggro that's um much stronger to Uma deck, but otherwise it yeah, it can probably see play, especially if you're gonna play vodka in the rune list as well and try to play a little bit more towards aggro. Yeah, we'd have to see the deck. I this is a maybe an actual rune and this is a mandatory in the Uma deck, so Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and I just like to say, um she participated in twelve races and so yeah, one of the best performing uh uh, Phillies in Japan during the uh -oh, we're gonna bust out the horse stats. Yeah. I got hold yeah. on, let me get and the list out. Nobody <laughs> knows the horse stats, podcast. nobody cares. We've got to make this podcast <laughs> and, an hour and a half. I'm not the, she's also the daughter of there you yeah, go. That, that's good lore. That's good. Lore. Okay, well, next card we are on <laughs> vodka. This is a three mana three three that, of course, has racing. But whenever you play it, if you have a Daiwa Scarlet, this card only cost one. It's kind of insane. And once per turn, when you play a spell, all of your Uma cards... I mean, we already talked about this way. Get plus one, plus one, and gain Rush. So this buffs your board, and it's once per turn, but that's like Alana's either player's turn. So we're going to be able to use spells on our opponent's turn and on our turn to make our board absolutely massive, and then cry when your opponent plays Conflag or Themis. Yeah, unless you make them bigger than <laughs> Conflag. Uh, bigger than Themis? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, bigger than that's Davis. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Haven, your worst nightmare. It's also crazy that she gives them all rush, which you know just enables you to like sometimes uh, trade board if you're really pressured. So. Yeah, I think I think the fact she gains rush and um, just the whole Uma set in general, just getting stats and just rushing and just you know getting so many good spells and stuff is kind of what makes it good against other board board based decks and stuff you know you know what um, i haven't seen that actually matters a sale 
There is a uh, there is a card later on that has a sail, but yeah, I said yeah, yeah, that that is, that is true. Two. That's actually that's actually one of the things in Uma is there's a lot of like, you know, knowing when to attack and when not to attack and stuff because you know, no yeah. one has a sail. <laughs> yeah. But you do have access to a lot of bird spells, so as long as it doesn't, uh, you know, um, aura, you can usually like clear board or at least uh, try to equalize or um, yeah. try to control the board position. Yeah, she's a good card overall. I think, like, you don't always have to play her with uh, Dylon Field. Sometimes you just might, like, drop her if you have other horses that survived the previous turn and, you know, just pump them. See that happen in a uh, world match. Being, yeah, going through the games recently just for fun. Yeah, meta card. Uh, Rune probably can, if you're just, like, a Rune stand, probably skip on this one. But uh, if you want to play Uma, Pick up three of this. Yep. Next card. Who wants to read this one? I can read it. Uh, Dance Clamor Festival. It's Helios on it, so I just I just call her Helios. But it's a uh, quick <laughs> choose enemy follower, deal three to it. Uh, if there's an Uma Musbe follower in, in your field, deal four to it. So this is like better surefire in the deck. Um, and this <laughs> is one of the two main removal pieces in the deck. There's another one that's uh, pretty good, but... Both this one and then another one we'll talk about in a second is played at three of each, and it's just it's just the we've seen how good Surefire is. You know this this card is um, easier to get the four damage of from Surefire. There's so much four health uh, stuff in the meta upcoming. You know even in our meta right now. Um, so this card is really really good, and obviously it costs one with Daiwa. With double Daiwa? No wait. Da double Daiwa costs zero. <laughs> That's pretty. Does sick. it? <laughs> Right? I think that's how Daiwa works. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how Daiwa Oh, no, I'm not the judge. Yeah. Because it's... Let me see. It's... Yeah, Whenever it's, it's uh, reduce the cost of that spell by one. Double Daiwa. Insane. Yeah. Okay, we have the technology. Uh, this is good. Even as, like, just a rune spell, this is, like, pretty okay. Because uh, it's, yeah, like, one of your yeah. Uma spells if you decide to go, like, the Uma package in rune. And then, like you said, it's like the same thing as a surefire, which is the same thing as a fire chain. I mean, it's all the same. Uh, but well, fire chains are the same. As they, they, yeah, you know they are. But <laughs> well, I, I know fire chain. I think is significantly worse than these two cards, right? One, both of these do four. Fire chain only does three. Yeah, but you're not. You know, maybe we're not going to play Uma Falls. Maybe we just play this as a three damage spell. But you know, crazy things. We have we have the technology. We could do it. But the technology. Yeah. Good card in Uma. Is this like a three of or two of? How, how many play this? Three. Three. three? Okay. Yeah. I've, I've seen every not list. play three. Yeah. <laughs> the card well, just reads so well. You, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Like, they got cards that search them. So, like, if you're searching for your removal, then maybe you don't need to play as much removal because then you got, you got the removal in hand and then well, you can draw the good cards. Just be the best gamer in the world. Yeah. Like, if you draw the card that searches the card, then, like, why would you play more of the card? Uh, but you don't, well, well the, the real answer to that, though, is because you don't really want to be searching uh, this card with Daiwa. You want to be searching, especially after the limit to um, inspection start. You probably want to be searching that or your other one one cost uh, I already cards. opened that. That's how I started the game. I don't know <laughs> yeah, about you. Yeah, but... yeah, as a gamer, yeah. As a gamer, then, you know, that's pretty good. But no, like, uh, really, though, like, Helios is probably the, the, what, the, the spell you search the least just because you want to be hoarding your one drops for either a... Die with vodka combo turn, or just because your one drops cost zero, and most of the time they get the job done and are better. Like your inspe your one of inspection start, your other ones that draw, and yeah. Well, next card. I, well, my last card was good, but this one I am more excited about than the last one. This is <laughs> oh, I am so excited. Boys, I have well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, you guys have seen the deck profile about the Daria deck. That deck is real. I just want you to know that deck is as real as real gets. That deck is insane. And what do we have here? We have Xeno Rob Roy, one mana, zero, two. This is basically an amulet that sits on your board that your opponent has to waste a spell on because it has, whenever another one of your followers begins racing, look at the top four cards of your deck, add an amulet or spell to your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. This is Dirt Rune support. This is Daria support, more importantly, because Daria, once again, if we don't shuffle our deck, we can use this to manipulate 
our Daria flips. We can know where the D shifts are and we can utilize this to get the most insane flips off of the Daria. In actual Uma, yeah. this card is turbo ass. But in my, I'm assuming it is at least. Is it playable in dirt? Well, what I was going to ask is because it says whenever another one of your yeah yeah you don't so get it, it off of yourself. So. It's it totally well. Then you have to play another like what other you're playing Uma Agnes. What the fuck, dude? We just play Agnes is insane. Agnes doesn't shuffle your deck and gives you your spells back. And yeah, but like, you have to be a gamer and draw both of those. I don't know. For what like do you mean? I play three of both, and I open the D shift. It goes to the bottom, and then I start moving it up with this. <laughs> I guess that's you could also play Mary at the top road, Russia. Um, just to like, you could also play Nerita. Um, that's true. Yeah, yeah, top road, top road's, top road's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Although I'm not sure why you'd ever um, race Agnes, because it only does it on racing. Yeah. So oh. should I boost, boost my volume? Sorry, my Discord kept fucking up, so I had to get on my phone. Oh, it's a little so horrendous. You are actually horrendous right now, but I, I keep changing your volume. It's okay. I'm on. I'm on Sorry. We got, the, we got the sound engineer. Right, we're, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying my best. We're trying my best. Uh, no, I am, I am excited about this. We have technology. We will be utilizing the technology. There will be a deck profile because that Daria deck is insane, and hopefully we can defeat we can defeat sword because holy shit right now we can't beat sword with daria uh yeah i, I don't think this is playable in real uh, but what do you think about dirt dirt is this dirt technology yeah, that's what I'm asking. but you have to you have to play other i like, have never no other dirt stuff i have never looked at my hand in dirt and thought holy shit i need an earth sigil like you just kind of play enough of those <laughs> yeah 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 like, I think we have enough generators. We don't need this. So this is not playable in Uma. Probably not playable in Dirt. But this is definitely part of my insane Daria deck that will be coming. To, I don't know. Fucking, I can't go to tournaments for this meta. So, Well, I'm excited to see it. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. It will be on a video. There will be no gameplay footage. It will be like Bigfoot. Uh, you'll never yeah, get to yeah. see it in action. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. The Bigfoot deck. Uh, next card. Who who wants to read the other Agnes? Agnes at home. I can do it. Uh, one mana, two one. Feed one. This card begins racing. Racing. Draw a card. Discard a card. This is hand. Penguin. Or this, this is, is mini Craig. an awful card. This card's mini this Craig. Card sucks. Yeah, but Craig does it when he comes into play, and he gets it. He does it twice. This and you don't need one. to play I mean, like. It helps your Zeno. It helps your Zeno. Yeah, just play more carrots, bro. Yeah, it, it helps your, your dude. Your Zeno, you got like two of them on board. You put down this, boom, infinite advantage. Sometimes yeah, I get cards, very close so. to being gaslit, and then I realize, okay, wait a minute, let me. Whoa, dude, <laughs> oh, dude, wait, oh, wait, dude, I <laughs> just wait, just wait. I will, I will cook, I'll cook everyone here with that deck. I'll be with like, the one mana two one. Uh, that that's all. Uh, that's worse than Craig. It's, but it's, like, why would you play this over Craig? Craig costs two and doesn't trigger this your Zeno. This card costs two as well. No, it doesn't. Craig costs three then. Eva, but, yeah. but it does it twice then. Craig does this thing twice. <laughs> yeah, but but for one more mana. And for one more mana, I get a sorcery cash in the middle. You got it, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're spending more time on the awful, unplayable cards than we are guess, on the real cards. I guess, Roman, question. Can you stack this racing ability with Dino you know, however you want? Or does it happen in a certain order? You definitely have to resolve the effect you're doing first, right? There's no way. Okay, so you have to resolve racing yeah. first, then you look at top four. You can't rearrange, then draw whatever card you want. Well, the, the rearrange is the bottom of deck. I see. Oh, yeah. you're right. Once you have resolved enough Xenos, you know the, the order of every card in your deck, so. Mm -hmm. It's true. Just have a good memory. Remember your stock, right? 12 stock. Know every card. Just get to the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Just get to the yeah. bottom of your deck. <laughs> I, I have like triple sorcery cash remembered every card with the Daria deck and remembered my mole again. So it's it's possible. You can do it. We got a gamer. Yeah, dude. Fucking dude. The technology is real. You just have to believe hard enough. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Here, here, you want to talk about a good card? You want to talk about. Does somebody want to read the good card? Because I, I'm not allowed to be excited about the bad cards. But Long Night read? with the Witch Apprentice. One drop spell. Uh, Zero. Quick, 
Wait, I will do zero actually. Actually, it refunds man if you have two uh, yeah. Daiwas out. If you have yeah. two Daiwas, you, it's <laughs> like <laughs> Portal Craft. <laughs> yeah. Choose oh, an enemy follower, deal two damage to it. If there is a racing flower on the field, deal three damage instead. Uh, Pretty sick. Art. Yeah, it's like, you know, an easier fulfillment uh, um, version of uh, Breath from Dragon. Except, you know, why not make it Uma and better? For my digital people, it's like better disdainful rending. Yeah, I mean, there have been cases where I've had to raise a card I normally wouldn't just for the extra damage to clear board. So, yeah, that's why, you know, people asking, like, oh, why, why even race any of these other cards? Sometimes you need to. Yeah. Yeah, you have to race oh. it. There's so I've, I've played a few games uh and, and, and you gotta race it you gotta race it it's not evo it's race <laughs> yeah exactly it's gonna be part of your xeno deck. Magnus it's tachyon insane. you gotta race <laughs> we have we have the technology uh this is a staple in pretty much every uma deck and you can play this in a rune it just replaces your snipes right yep easy it's literally rune the same thing getting as... so many yeah rune ends up getting so many snipes and like one man deal twos that do like variations of different things that like i've seen decks you know in jp meta where it's just like one of each of the <laughs> you know you know yeah. your friend is angel snipe and then uh the tetra one got to use the promo art right yeah exactly exactly oh there you go yeah <laughs> well after the meta card i don't actually know about this one admire vega two mana two two you can race it like all the other cards activate Tap this, choose a spell in your hand with cost two or less, put into your EX area. When you play that card this turn, it cost becomes zero. Okay, thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking too. What is with like combos with Daria? <laughs> really? Well yeah, yeah, you you put the you put the card in your EX area, then you discard your hand. Yeah, yeah. And that way you get like an extra cast, right? Like think think about that. This is four mana worth of cards for only two mana. This is also a way for you to begin racing and have a spell. Like an Uma spell, right? Or you could or this helps like with sorcery cash. Sorcery cash is horrible. At least on tempo. It's it's like a really good card, but it's horrible on tempo. But with this, you're able to play it for free. So basically you can you can get like a body out while also putting down a card. Yeah. I mean, everything you're saying is true. Um, is it impactful? I guess the cost restriction on the card you can put to your X area is um, is the painful part. It's not Two's... like you actually have to cast it either. Well, so. two is good. We have the Uma spells that cost two. So you're able to like mm -hmm. put down a body while also getting a spell. And we're also able to, like, yeah, like I said, sorcery, cash, or some other cards. And then if this thing yeah. lives, because it's kind of... It kind of has, like, ward, if you think about it. Because your opponent has to kill it. I mean, well, not really ward. Yeah, but your opponent has to kill it. Because are you going to give Rune a free two-mana spell every turn? That sounds horrific if your opponent does, like, right? Yeah, that's doesn't true. Sound that bad. It doesn't sound that bad. Rune? Rune is... This thing is going to get... This thing gets looked at in diseases. Like, this thing is never, <laughs> never, ever staying alive. Like You don't know that. Oh. Bro, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how this thing ever survives. Yeah, let's see if it was a one with hair I, Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna keep this card alive. I'm gonna. I'm gonna race it. Top check you. four multiple times, and I'm gonna be casting my spells for free. And then Adaria is gonna hit the board. Trust. This yeah. is a real deck. True. This de this <laughs> set adds a lot of fun cards. I will say this 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 yep. uh, set adds a lot of fun cards. I, I yeah, legitimately I think this card is not that stuff. bad. Like just I mean, having it's a annoying card. just having a guy on board is so big. That's why yep. Craig is better than Penguin. Like well, this is like a Penguin. Huh. Penguin lets you use the spell. I don't know. You can put Trail of Light in your X area. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. Busted. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, yeah, that card's not playable in actual Uma, but I think we can brew something with actual rune. It's also a rune follower, which is important. Okay. What, what do you mean? An actual Uma you pair with air groove and like you do it twice. Okay, you're right. He's got he's yeah. got the technology. Just draw your spells. Yeah. It helps you get your <laughs> die well off, right? 
Mm -hmm. it, it's like part of the big Daiwa, your entire board gets stormed. That's like a digital deck. That's like OG. Uh... Was there was there a RuneCraft deck that just gave everything storm? I don't think so. But there was like definitely mono. Yeah. Mono was so fun. Mono was, I mean, yeah. Okay, never mind. No. No digital, no digital <laughs> flashbacks. Yeah. The, but not, uh, that was, that was not the term I would use, but yeah, uh, let, let's move on before the, yeah, yeah digital please. gets brought up <laughs> again. Yeah, All right, so. I can read this card. Uh, Kawakami Princess, four mana, four four. Uh, feed one as usual. Fanfare, discard a card from your hand, choose an enemy follower, deal four damage to it. Horrific. So I think I think this card's interesting. I think it's unplayable. I think it's really bad. But I do think, it's like... interesting how bad it is. Well, well first of all, first of all, y'all were really, y'all were really shit. Or you, y'all were really gassing up some awful, awful cards. I think this is the first, <laughs> like, maybe play, like, because cause there's so yeah. many things. I'm mostly talking about Uma. There's so many things that are for health, and it's really hard to kill. This is not bad, not good, though, because you have to discard a card. If this was just 4 mana, 4, 4, deal 4, I guess that'd be pretty, pretty broken. But, like, this thing would be... Yeah. This thing would be insane. This thing would be played a lot uh, in Uma yeah. because because you need to kill four health things. Like that's just a hard thing to do without uh, multiple cards, you know. And having just a one card again, I'm I'm talking about a fantasy world where it doesn't discard a card from your hand, but it does. So this card's unplayable. But I did see it used a little bit early, early on in Uma, and I think it was for that reason. It's like, hey, I'm running into so many four health things. I have nothing that I can do to kill them really. Uh, be, that that cost or that are just like one card here do it um so i saw people but yeah no this is not playable well i i will say um in retrospect having played the deck a bit um oftentimes you are like you can go into like later turns with like six seven hand um so it is possible just like have a ditch out that moves towards um what was your spell seven centimeters yeah because yeah um it does yeah get you a turn closer to that or a card closer to that as well I, yeah. I'm not trying to defend this card as being playable. Oh, but no, no, yeah. There's a world where you're like, I'm just going to try to get to seven centimeters as fast as possible. No, and this might be one of the cards that enables so. that. Yeah. <laughs> if you just play like a whole deck where you're not even doing like Daiwa and Vodka, you're just doing like, I'm just going to get to 20 as fast as possible. Actually, think, like, yeah. actually, that's, this is actually kind of sick card for that, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I don't exactly. think that's a really super good strategy. Yeah, exactly. It'd be a funny deck. Like, you just It'd be, yeah, a, very play funny a, deck. It'd be a very funny deck. All right. So, what's this card? Be more playable in Ruin. No, this card is horrendous. I'm going to be honest. At least you can discard Trail of Lights. In you that can. Deck. Uh, yeah. You can discard Trail of Light. I, I don't know. Vanilla card. Four damage. Your deck is nothing but spells. Like you know what you can do for four mana? You can kill their card instead of dealing four damage to it. You can play Fire mm -hmm. Chain. Fire Chain is like if you gave this thing Storm. If you think about it. Fire Chain is only three damage, bro. Anyway. Wait, what did you just? Say? Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I just was trying to unpack the fire chain. Is <laughs> whatever anyway. Fire anyway, chain is like you gave this thing storm. It's face damage, and you killed something. That's insane. <laughs> is this how Weiss card reviews are? <laughs> we used to do them. They were fun. They were fun. Oh, yep. there's a lot more pack filler in that game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet. I bet. Yeah. But, like, I can bet, like, the cards you guys don't talk about a lot are the actual killers. <laughs> the cards you guys like, <laughs> yeah. 10 minutes well, on are, like, the unplayable garbage. Bro, I'm out, I'm out here in the lab, okay? People, that's true. No, I respect it. I respect dude, you it. Got, you got the, the meta cards yet? People people know the meta cards are good. They'll go on They'll go on Shadowverse Master <laughs> EV.com okay, or whatever. And yeah. they're gonna look at the decks, and they'll see Daiwa, Scarlet, Vodka, Agnes, spells fifty times in a row. Yeah. Okay, I'm, no, you're, 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 right. you're absolutely right. Honestly, yeah, like, we're that, out that, here that, yeah, telling people the truth and the gospel. Yeah, of the Nakayama Festa, which I thought for a second was a meme, and the more I think, the better it is. I actually wait. wait uh, Kawakami Princess also has a leader card. Just throwing it out there, oh, one of the best leader cards. Anyway, keep going. All right, Dean. So, do you? So, are you telling me you're gonna yeah. hit this off of uh, 
it's Daria it, every time. Yeah, yeah. So okay, I've been playing the Daria deck, and I have this problem, and that's I D shift twice, and then I have no nothing left in my grave because I have twenty cards in exile, and <laughs> my golems no longer do anything. The golem it, it doesn't do anything. I've I've D shifted twice. My opponent still has just a little bit of health because I can only do eighteen damage off of two D shifts. Because <laughs> it's fucking hard out here playing rune. But this card says, Fanfare, 5 damage to all enemy followers. 9 mana, 7-7. Seven, seven. You're never going to get to attack with it. This is only for the come and play effect. Five and the enemy leader. And the enemy leader. This is a golem that requires you to discard your entire hand when you play it. And costs 3 more mana. I know, you just don't it sounds have bad. Just, yeah, 1, don't have a hand. And 2, they're dead. So, if you can fulfill <laughs> both of those criteria... This is not... This is not the worst as an option. Because I, I, I'm not... I, I I know you guys don't believe in the Daria deck, but I have legitimately double D-shifted like multiple times, like 7 and then 8 as well. And uh, that means that it'd be turn 9 when I have 20 cards in my exile. Which is the perfect time to play down this. I mean, Dragoon does something similar, except it also draws you cards, so... I guess that's the difference here. Yeah, I mean, this card is a little atrocious, and by little I mean a lot, but also it is a finisher that you otherwise may not have. And also I mean, direct face damage is always good. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so... I mean, even with, like, normal D-Shift, right? Like, sometimes you just, like... If you're playing, like, the normal D-Shift deck, like, you drop down your, like, Flame Destroyers and stuff. Like, think about that, too. Like, right? Like, you drop down your Flame Destroyers on, like, turn 8, you D-Shift or whatever. And, but your opponent's got, like, the forbidding cards with the with the ward mechanic. He just... <laughs> okay, you rush first. Little, you a... rush before the D-Shift. I mean, what? Like, I mean... <laughs> what, well, like, what, oh, no, because there's, like, times like, you're against, um... Okay, you say that, but, like, there's times that, like, you don't have enough Flame Destroyers, right? Like, let's imagine you have two Flame Destroyers. It's only 14 damage. It's not lethal half the time. Uh, well, this could, like, help curve out your numbers a little bit better. This doesn't seem that bad as a one-of in, like, a D-Shift package. Just because, like, you can't do anything after you D-Shift, usually, because all of your cards are gone. I want to play y'all's game. Am I, am I, am I <laughs> cooking too hard? I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You're cooking. Is this better than follow. like demonic strikes or whatever? Is what I'm yes, thinking. Yes, because it's a follower. But it's yeah, it's a uh. follower, and you play one instead of like demonic strikes. Are you gonna but have you demonic? You have to play like you already have to play at least uh, golems, merlins, penguins. Merlin, we don't play Merlin. <laughs> All right, let's go, <laughs> let's go to the next card, please. Can we go to the next card? Let me go to the next card. Okay. Who wants to make an argument for this one? I didn't even read it. I I, I think this card's uh, one of the more playable bronzes. Um, Tosen Jordan. Uh, Tosen? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, feed one. Last yeah. word. Choose a spell in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. Um, it's like worse Agnes, um, which is pretty... Yeah, exactly. It's just like, you know, that that's uh, that's not a negative at all because... Uh, uh, Agnes, pretty yeah, good. The thing that's spell. downside to this card is that um, it doesn't curve super well in the Uma deck unless you're a god gamer and you just have the uh, the limited to one inspection start on one, you know? Um, and then yeah. every other turn, it's really hard to weave this in. But, um, and I don't know about Rune, but it's 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 a, it's a, it's a pretty interesting card. A two mana, two one. If you need more two drops, you know? Um, and I think if it natively got Rush or something... It'd be like a lot better. Oh, yeah. If this was, if this was, uh, if this was cool colored, and he got a spell back. Like, holy shit! Yeah, I would, yeah, I would, I'd definitely put that card in my deck. But alas, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This card's interesting. Oh. It's not the worst thing. I don't think I would sleeve it. Oh, that's not true. I, I'll probably sleeve it eventually. But like, <laughs> I, I don't think this card is like this. This card's like interesting. Well, is it? Because you can't put this down at two, right? Like, what the what the hell are you picking up? Yeah, because yeah, in, exactly. in, in in the in the JP meta, like you you could theoretically because you have three of the inspection starts. So that's the only way you curve this out is you go inspection start, then you play Jordan, right? You know, or or you like yeah. kill one of their things. You're going second, and you kill one of their things, and then next turn you play that. That's pretty weak going second though. 
Yeah. I mean, yeah, and then the next turn is when you actually like get the payoff when you swing it into something and then you salvage. Yeah. Oof. Um, yeah, the timing is a bit slow. Yeah, you got the um, got a little bit of an awkward dilemma here. Well, it's like with the Agnes, you get to just Evo it and then pick up a card like when you want it. Well, yeah. this card you put it down and you have to wait for it to die. Yeah. Yeah. So that's actually like, that's actually such a huge demerit it is yeah and it's also not well statted at all but imagine yeah, this imagine this you got no spells engraved it's turn three you put this down your opponent goes to kill it when they attack it you you use like your one mana spell and then you pick it up immediately how is it like how is it like taxi Unless they have a, a sail or something. They, they're like well, Navy Lieutenant. You used an evil orb <laughs> and you, you attacked into a bell ringer, okay? Like, how in-depth do you want these descriptions to be? <laughs> I don't know what you're making up. Like, the exact crazy scenario. scenario. Yeah, dude, we're, we're making stuff up. We're making stuff yeah. up, okay? We're misleading. We're misleading. Like, imagine <laughs> imagine it's, it's like this thing. It, it, it went face. They attack it. And then you go fire chain and you kill their other card and then you pick the yeah. fire chain back up i think it's not that bad in rune actually <laughs> I, I do like it in rune um as like a bad card the, the more know, the more i like talk it. about it the worse it gets yeah <laughs> pretty much the dean classic oh uh, this one well no no the other cards the other cards we were cooking this one this one just seems not not cooking yeah, on paper it looks like, oh, it should be playable, but yeah, the last word's timing has always been kind of um, unfortunate. Yeah. It's bad. Also, it's I would, I would uh, sleeve this up and there'd be like nine havens at my locals the next day somehow. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. I go, oh, yeah. what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we gotta play with our cards. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> well, well, I think somebody mentioned this card. Did, did somebody mention this one earlier? This is a good one. This is yeah. a good one, right? Yeah, Narita Top Road. Three mana, three, three. Um, I've actually seen it played a couple of times um, in the Japanese world list, even. So what it does is um, obviously has speed, like every other Uma. But on racing, it gets plus one, plus one, and you draw two, ditch one. So I know some people are trying to call it like um, Shenlong or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure about that one, but, you know, just four mana for four, four bodies is a pretty good stat line, and it helps um, churn cards. I think with the balance going, this is a card that should see a lot more play, just because, you know, you need the draw um, to you know, kind of draw into like your solutions to uh, your opponent's cards and all that. More cards in hand for Ogre Cap, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Pretty solid. Um, yeah, I'm just still not sure what ratios I'd be playing this on, but um, for the Uma. Your Uma deck. I'm not sure if this is playable in Rune, though. What do you guys think? What do you mean this goes in the Daria deck? It True. It fuels your you do have uh, like spell chains. It fuels your spell yeah. chains and it activates a sorcery cache. Damn, there you go. This is the card. This is the card you want to know what you're going to be racing. We're going to be racing this. Turn one, one of those. Turn two, two more. Turn three, this plus Eva Orb. Top check Ooh. 12. There you spells. go. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. You think it's a joke, but then it'll happen. Uh, I, I'm not laughing because it's a joke. Um, I think, yeah, it's highly playable in a lot of lists, but... Uh, it has, also, like, it doesn't scale too well into late game. It's my biggest problem with it, I guess. Uh, Three mana is a nice number. It's, like, slightly... It's not the best number for like helping curve out plays, but it's not horrendous. Like, yeah, right, if this it's was... also something. Oh. oh wait, no, wait, you have to you have to use the orb though every time. Otherwise, this is a four mana card. Yeah, exactly. Um, it is rough. something for Uma to do when it's going second, at least, because sometimes like um, I often feel like Uma's a deck that or the pure Uma list is uh, something that prefers to go first, so. Yeah, sometimes when you're going second, you're just like, what am I going to do with all these evil points? Um, they're not useful until all great cap goes down. But yeah, with more of these cards, that at least they get big. So um, on turn three, you can contest stuff as well with a 4-4 body. Not yeah. terrible. And if it lives a turn, like feasibly, you could actually technically do um, 
you know, okay, not the turn after, but like, let's say you throw this down on turn four, and then on turn five, you can do your shenanigans with Gaiwa Vodka, and then this becomes a 5 5 Sami F face, and that's pretty painful for most people. I feel like this is like in Uma. I feel like this is kind of one of those like meta call cards where if you think the meta is going to be a little slower and you don't have to like super worry about um, just fighting for board and stuff, I think this is really good. But I do feel like it might be pretty uh, like too slow when there's a lot of other cards that um, are similar, you know, three mana three threes that either evolve or feed uh, that affect the board immediately. Um, and yeah, I just feel like this card might be a little too slow if it's a super board heavy meta where it's like you're you're expected to face mirrors and sword and stuff you know but against like other like against haven this card is really good because it's like you don't have to you can just you know yeah just i guess you're saying like um yeah marozenski or uh yeah. some other cards are like better yeah, to play yeah. marozenski yeah but yeah. I, I mean i think this card is like ins i i still think this card is like really good i i just you know, 40 cards. You only have 40 cards, you know? Yeah, exactly. Maybe it's a two-up. Because, like, again, like, um, with a ban list, you often end up with a few extra slots. And just having, like, um, a tempo play where you're just drawing. And it has rush because you have to rush. I mean, race with it, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sometimes it's okay like that. Um, I'll agree with yeah, Crucial. That's... I think this is a little slow and, like, but I guess since you have the consistency hits due to like losing some of your tutor, maybe this isn't the worst. Yep. Put you back in the game. Maybe like a what like a one to two of just. Yeah, it's like well, sorry. There's no such thing as one ofs in this game. This is a two, uh, you play two or you don't play a card. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But guess what, guys? That's the end of Rune. Uh, definitely one of the stronger classes, bringing a lot to both RuneCraft as a whole, and then the Uma deck, uh, definitely one of the better crafts to be picking up. I think some people do, like, craft splits, right? Yeah, I'm some stores do that, and... I'm players, doing an Uma split by buying a case, but... That's sick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Are you just splitting it with like... yourself? <laughs> yeah, just splitting with myself. <laughs> nice, me too. No, but definitely, yeah, Agnes um, still saw play for a long time. So, yeah, anyone looking for, like, choice pickups, definitely aim for that card. And then that uh, that and, spell uh, is still played, right? The uh, the the one where she's, like, yes. uh, under the blankets or whatever? Or is the one where she's Well, drawing? still played as, like, an alt card. Uh, of Angel. Oh, that so one. It's, it's still yeah, yeah. played as, like, an alt art, so, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, yeah, and you know, if you do play Agnes, the greatest card, so you should pick that up. All the all the foils, right? <laughs> For Dean, yes, yeah, he's gonna have a binder full of them eventually, one day. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for Runecraft. Uh, thanks for joining in, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, what's up next? We already did Dragon, so does that mean Haven is up next? I think you're forgetting the greatest class of all time. Abyss. Oh, Abyss. Yeah. We, that's right. Oh, Abyss. Yeah, look forward to Abyss yeah, next time. Hey, shout outs, Dean. Oh, shout outs. Should we do okay. shout outs? Okay, I'll do shout outs first. Shout out to my boy, Fresh Cabbage. He was. He was here. He, he was yeah. present. Mm -hmm. He exists. And then, oh, there he is. And then shout outs Thanks. to uh, Burn One. They're the best. Oh, yeah, she's like, you know, like shout out. <laughs> to my water bottle for keeping me hydrated. Uh, I guess I'll give you yeah, a shout out to um, Ryan uh, Wibberly, Wibs, as people like to call him, um, for being my testing partner for Uma for the past few weeks. Um, definitely learned a lot playing against him in terms of like how to play the deck efficiently. So, yeah, thanks for that. And to the Toronto. Oh my god, I almost said. Um, the other card game by accident again, uh, Toronto SV community as well for being great. All right. Hanson, your turn. Yeah, all right. Shout, shout out to Burn One for having me on this podcast. What's what's fun? Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, thank you. And until next time. <laughs>